Hi, I'm Brandi McDonald. I'm a features writer for the Oklahoma and News OK, and I have Scott Booker, who is the CEO and executive director at ACM at UCO. That's the Academy of Contemporary Music at the University of Central Oklahoma. Wow, you that's, said that quick and that fast. Is, you didn't have to take a breath while you wow, did it. You did really a, well. That's a lot of words. But we're here to talk about ACM at UCO's Metro Music Fest, which is coming up on Friday, April the 10th. And uh, talk to us a little bit about this event, because it used to be called something else, and it's bigger, better, more improved, faster, all kinds of things. Right. Well, we used to call it the, the uh, ACM at UCO uh, Rocks Bricktown event. And we decided to change the name this, this year because it, it just continued to grow. At first, this really started as a way just for our students to be able to perform for their friends and family and other people to come see them as well. You know, in the first year we did it, five, six years ago, we probably had maybe three or four hundred people show up and it was mostly just friends and stuff. And it continued to grow and it felt like something that was becoming more like a Norman Music Fest or, uh, you know, an event like that, you know. So the idea of changing the name, I also, I, I kind of was thinking about how we would like to eventually expand more into all of Oklahoma City, you know, or at least have that option. And as long as we had the name Bricktown in there, it kind of sticks us there. Although this year our event primarily is just in, in Bricktown, but I, I think eventually we're going to grow beyond the borders of that. Yeah. So does that reflect the growth of the school, I guess? Of ACM or mm -hmm. UCO? Both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, both continue to grow. And, you know, we have students from all over the world that come to our school. And um, the idea, really, of ACM at UCO being kind of a toehold for the main campus in the metro, that definitely was part of the reason why we wanted to use that word. We're, we're proud of being right here in Oklahoma City. And, and I think that part of our goal is to kind of expand the overall music culture by being a catalyst, in a way. I think it's hard anymore to find an artist that doesn't have some kind of connection to our school. Even if they didn't go there, they might have someone that's recording them that went there, they might have a road crew member, they might have one member of the band that's gone there. And as we continue to move on, I think, I think we're going to be something that has helped, hopefully, a little bit of everyone that's doing something with music in Oklahoma City. Can you talk a little bit about um, who's going to be playing there? Because it's going to be student bands and a lot of them, but right. it's not just going to be student bands, it's going to be some other notable Oklahomans. Right. Well, previously, uh, what we would do is bring in one headliner. This year, we decided to um, kind of spread the love a little bit more and have an Oklahoma headliner that's a bit bigger on each stage. So we have Broncho, we have John Fulbright, we have Horse Thief, who are ACM graduates, Stardeth and White Dwarfs. Uh, JB, um, gosh, the list goes on. I mean, it's just nonstop. We've been invited people down from Tulsa, like uh, John Calvin Abney, whose new record is amazing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we, we wanted to have a situation where all of our students who are in their own bands can perform with a bigger artist and have that on their resume of like, I played a festival where, you know, thousands of people showed up and I was on the same stage as Broncho or I was on the same stage as John Fulbright or whomever, you know. So talk about the student bands that you're going to have here. I think you're going to have uh, something like 60 student bands. Maybe? Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it gets a little confusing because when a student that's a performer comes into our program, we put them together in bands. Mm -hmm. So they learn what it's like to be in a band. But simultaneously, the majority of them, production students and our music performance students, have their own bands. So, you know, instead of just pushing the bands that we've created, we really want to help these students start out in the music industry. And the best way to do it is for their own bands to perform. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, we made the decision to really focus on the students' bands more so than these, these things that we've created. It's not just the number of performers that's growing, though. It's the number of people. Because it started out, I think, with three or 400 people the first year. And I think last year was something like 15,000. Yeah, you know, it was crazy because we, we felt like something was going on in a different way. There was just people everywhere. And, your first thought is, oh, there's a basketball game. And, and there was, actually. And it was also the opening of the, uh, the baseball uh, stadium that year. Mm -hmm. Same thing this year, as a matter of fact. And what happened was I called the, the mayor's office, and I was like, do you have any way to estimate how many people were there? And they said, well, yeah, there was about 20,000 people for the basketball game. There was about 10 
for the baseball game. And we estimated another 15,000 on top of that. So Bricktown in that area had about 40, 45,000 people down there, hopefully with a lot of them stopping to see us. But to have that added number of 15,000 people just to come see our students. And we, we only had one big headliner last year, which was Moby, and he mm -hmm. did a DJ set, and he was amazing. But I sat there and I thought, you know, maybe if we spread it out even more, it will feel more like a festival. And that was part of the reason for the name change as well. Mm -hmm. We've also added panels this year. Well, we had panels last year, but we've added more this year. And we have a swap meet as well. So now this will be, I understand, it's free admission to the, uh, to the event, to it's the free. festival. And so people can uh, go to the different stages, yeah. see the students, see the headliners, and it's all free. Yeah, and there'll be some food trucks down there. Um, it, it's it's going to be great. It's um, you know very family friendly. You're in Bricktown, so take advantage of all the great restaurants and, and things that are already down there. It's, it's the perfect place for this. You know, I want to see it expand, but there'll always be a piece of it down in Bricktown.